This video will help get you familiar with modifiers, what their purpose is, and how to use them in your inventory. Modifiers are simply items or options that you may add to other items. Some items have options such as temperature, rare, medium, well done, toppings, or sides. For the example in this video, I'll be adding modifiers to my register's back office for a hamburger combo. To set up modifiers, you must be logged into your register's back office account. To get to the back office, visit register.groove.com. Once logged in, click the Inventory option from the top navigation menu. Before adding modifiers to an item, I'll need to enter the modifiers into the back office. An easy way to keep track of different types of modifiers is to add a department for them. This way your back office inventory stays organized and it's easy to locate specific modifiers when performing transactions from your register. I'll start by selecting Departments from the left, and then the New Department button. I will give a name to this new department, calling it Burger Modifiers, and click the Insert button to save this new modifier department. Now I can go back to Inventory Items and add those Burger Modifiers as items. I've decided I want the first level of modifiers to be how well a customer wants their burger cooked. So I will add those different temperature options individually. The first option I'd like to enter is medium well, so I will select the new item button and add that in. In the department drop down list for this item, I will make sure to place this into the burger modifier department I just created a few moments ago. Since there are no additional charges for adding this to a burger combo, I will price this as zero and select the insert button. Quickly, I'll go ahead and add the rest of the available temperature options as individual items as well. The second level of modifiers will represent the available toppings that go on burgers, such as tomatoes, onion, lettuce, mayo, ketchup, mustard, and cheese. I will now want to add these individually as items to the burger modifier department. When adding cheese, since there is an additional cost of 50 cents, I will be sure to enter that as the price when creating it as an item, still associating it with the burger modifiers department. Since the burger combo includes a single serving of one of our sides, I'd like to add the third modifier option to represent all of our sides available for a burger combo. So I will enter in the different sides we offer as well as individual items. Please take note that the description of a modifier is what will appear under the item when it is added to the transaction display. After entering the modifiers as items into my inventory, I can create the hamburger combo as an item and assign these newly created modifiers to it. When adding the hamburger combo to my inventory items, Towards the bottom of that creation page is where you'll see the section for adding the modifiers. This is where you're able to add up to three levels of modifiers for this item. I'll give this first modifier a title and then select the Modifier Item Lookup button. Since we added a department for burger modifiers, we can easily find it by clicking the drop down menu for departments and selecting that department. Here you are also able to search by description, scan ID, or item number. When I select the burger modifier department, all of the modifiers I've entered are displayed. So I will click each temperature option to add them to the first level of modifiers. When finish adding them, click the X on the top right hand side of that pop-up to close the window. Right below each modifier, there are two option checkboxes that you can select to apply to them. By checking the box next to Modifier Required, when entering an order for a hamburger, servers will have to select one of these modifiers before continuing on. The next box is a Multiple Select option. By checking this box, you are able to select multiple modifiers from that level. But for this first modifier, I'm only going to check Modifier Required. As for the second modifier, I will use it for entering hamburger toppings and condiments. This time I will choose the multiple select option so that servers may add any combination of toppings and condiments based on what customers would like. 
For the third modifier, I will repeat the steps again and add the sides. Lastly, at the bottom of the page, select the Insert button to save these changes.